Aries, what's up? Welcome to my channel and my trip in not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. So I'm here to do your general slash love reading for November, my G. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it. So if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I do pre-shuffle, lay some cards out just to see what's going on with you. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single Aries. Give no fit nucks. Info for private readings will be below the video. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love you. All right, so Aries, you got fire, which is crazy because that is you, G. Passion. It says, uh, passionate from miles away. Hey, passive with the things you say. Passing up on my old ways. That's what I'm hearing right now, which makes sense with this reading. Passing up on your old ways, Aries. Cast aside your fear of the flame and bring more warmth to your inner world. Fire spirits are the natural drivers behind attraction, lust, and desire. Your kundalini is ready to be awakened. The motivating force of fire will reignite your passion and fuel your inner flame so you can claim your power and walk in your true light and might, vitality, and vigor. A fear of fire stems from a past life. A cold approach is attracting obstacles. Offer warmth to others to brighten your inner world. A renewed passion invokes the love you have been waiting for. The element of fire holds the strength you require. That came out with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and Community card, Aries. So it looks like y'all about to shit. It's like uh, I'm hearing, uh, what's the saying? If, what are y'all saying? <laughs> Hold on, Aries. It's something I can't really figure out what they're saying, but I know the saying that they're saying, if that makes any sense. Almost like uh, when other people don't do it, I guess I got to do it myself is the saying, but there's another way that it's worded. It's like, if they don't do it, I guess I got to do it myself, but it's going to get done type shit. That's the feeling I'm getting from this Aries. It's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I know how to do this shit. Basically, Page of Swords is like already knowing some shit or learning some shit or watching something. It's almost like a, you see what's going on or what you need to do, Aries, in order to pull yourself up by the bootstraps, G. I feel like you are passionate, but it's passionate about yourself, about your livelihood and shit, really, is what I'm feeling. For uh, the flashcards, you got the microwave. You got the Empress Reverse, which is what this dress card is. Empress, Emperor Reversed. And then the Tiger. Could be a Leo, Taurus, or a Libra that you are dealing with here. Or an Aries. Sorry, why did I say Taurus? Libra. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Hold on. Yeah. Libra, Aries, or Taurus. Sorry, y'all. Still getting acclimated to the cards. But basically, whatever it is that was... Uh, I don't know if this is in, in regards to a relationship, Aries, but something that uh, was instant that probably came really too quick or was too good to be true with the microwave card is not as abundant as you thought with the Empress Emperor slash reversed. It's almost like I should have known I was going to have to do this shit on my motherfucking own. I should have fucking known. It feels like something came too easy and you accepted it, Aries, or cross watcher because shit be flip flopping around you. Feels like it came too easy and it's like... Uh, you ended up, it's almost like, damn, I could have just did this shit by my motherfucking self in the beginning. What the fuck did I even deal with this for? Person, place, or thing? I don't know. But it seems like uh, you just going to go off on your own and do your fucking thing, right? King of the fucking jungle right here. It's uh, I was just telling somebody this the other day. When a lion or a tiger leaves the den and shit, they don't take the cubs with them or the other, you know what I'm saying? When they go hunt, they bring the shit back. Or they after they make the kill, then the cubs come out and eat. It's almost like a... You step in. I'm thinking I'm feeling this is for single moms, to be honest. I mean, of course, that's not for everybody, but I'm picking up a big group of single mothers who are depending on uh, fa uh, uh, their the baby's father or somebody, a husband, somebody. Queen of Pentacles is out here to pick up the slack and they ain't do the shit. So it's almost like I got to get my fucking hands dirty, says Aries. If it's not a single mom, like I said, Aries, you could be a male or some shit. It's just you like something came too quick. And was gone like that. And now you realizing like, shit, I got to pull myself up by the fucking bootstraps. But you can do that shit is what it's telling me. It's, it's just realizing what the fuck is going on. I feel like uh, Aries, this reading is making me feel like you lost hope in someone or something. Like you have no faith in this person, place or thing anymore at all. The card you got, that's you, Aries. Queen of Wands with the Thief card and Joni Mitchell. Got the Three of Cups with the Eight of Cups. And that came out with Bjork and Neanderthal face which is Neil Young. 
Five of Pentacles with the gift card. Boop. And then the moon with the will of fortune. And that's with the despair in John Lennon. Aries, off top, you could be dealing with a Pisces here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I said Taurus, Libra out here. Yeah, that's what I see. Anyway, Aries, generally speaking, for November, I don't know what type of, it could be a holiday function or something, but I feel like some of y'all get fed the fuck up at some function or something going on in November. You just fucking leave. I feel like the reason you leave is because it's an obnoxious motherfucker there. I don't know who this is. It could be you, Aries. You could be the obnoxious motherfucker and people leave you. I don't know. But somebody obnoxious and they want all the attention with the thief card. Joni Mitchell never lied. Like this person does it all the time though. This person wants to be the center of attention. Somebody gets tired of that shit. They leave the fucking gift on the table and be like, I'm, I'm fucking out. I can't commit to this shit. I can't take a knee because I'm wearing all white. This is some bullshit. Somebody is uh, very obnoxious is what I'm picking up. Somebody, uh, whoever is having a party, a get together, could be Thanksgiving at somebody's house. Somebody's obnoxious or rude at that motherfucker and somebody leave in November. Could be you or them, Aries. I don't know. Somebody tired of that shit, though. It's every fucking year. It's like it never fucking changes. I always think it's going to be different. I never know what I'm really walking into, but it's always the same fucking shit. I'm out. You you see that shit. Like, I don't know. I knew better. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles with the Page of uh, Swords. It's my family. I fucking know them. No. I'll microwave my fucking meal. Bye. <laughs> Basically, Aries. I'm picking that up for somebody. I'm also picking up that somebody may have lost a baby like a... Uh, while they were pregnant, I'm so sorry to hear that. When I saw that, I'm like, damn, y'all are telling a lot. Somebody lost a baby or will lose a baby, and I'm so sorry. That's totally, of course, not for everyone, but I'm picking that up. I'm also picking up that somebody finds out that they're pregnant and the spouse dips out and goes to some other little Tatiana-ass bitch, Neanderthal face. You know what I'm saying? Leaves their counterpart, love interest, soulmate, or whatever, and just on some dogmatic shit and go fuck with some other bitches. The motherfucker just left. Like, damn, Joni Mitchell never lied, old punk-ass motherfucker. Yep, that's a punk-ass bitch. So somebody's worried, like, okay, well, what am I going to do now? Because uh, the baby's father cannot take a knee because he wearing all white. He a selfish-ass motherfucker. Like, I'm, I don't know what's going to happen. That's why I was picking up on the single moms thing, too. You're going to be all right. A lioness always takes care of her cubs, G, no matter fucking what. No matter what. She'll die for them motherfuckers, so... I mean, it's right to be worried because I feel like that's a natural feeling. But I mean, shit, that lion card right there lets me know with that passion card and that queen of pentacles, you ain't about to let shit happen. You gonna have lights, food, a home, your kids gonna be cool and all that shit. I just feel like you don't have the support, Aries, to be honest. I feel like this reading is a, a lack of support from people, really. But I feel like if anybody's equipped to handle that shit, you fucking can. My sister's in Aries and shit, she, yeah, she can. I don't know how the fuck she do it, but she can. She does. So that's what's up. Um, some of y'all are walking away from friendships and shit. Uh, people that y'all consider best friends, like sisters, like brothers and shit. But you just ascended past the motherfuckers. I mean, it's not like they necessarily animals, but I mean, it's kind of like, I don't, maybe you just dogging them out <laughs> by just walking away and not saying shit. I don't know. Maybe you leave the motherfuckers a note like, it's not going to work, Kathy. I won't be at yoga next week or the week after that, bitch. I'm cool. You're obnoxious. You know what I mean? You always want me to pay for your session. <laughs> it's some shit like that. Somebody is walking away from uh, being used by people, a group of people, or always being depended on by a group of people. Somebody done with that shit, bitch. I ain't no motherfucking goodwill, bitch. That type shit, <laughs> right? Somebody's always being dependent on. I'm not talking about your kids, though. Okay, if it's kids, I mean shit. What they fuck they supposed to do, y'all? I'm talking about grown ass motherfuckers with pubic hair. Shit. Love speaking, Aries. I feel like somebody is done. Somebody has seen enough, possibly found some messages online or will in November. Find out some shit about a spouse and shit instantly with the microwave. Somebody may get left instantly. You are no longer my husband, my bitch, my soulmate, my divine counterpart, none of that shit. I roll solo dolo now. Somebody is just instantly like done with somebody is what I'm picking up with the love portion. Somebody's tired of dealing with third parties or being in a, and this is a committed relationship because the queen of pentacles and the emperor and empress is out here. So I feel like these people are married or have a relationship where they live together. You and this person, Aries or vice versa, whoever shit, somebody in this shit, right? 
They live together. Somebody in this uh, relationship is tired of being a part of a third party. They are finally leaving this shit. They're like, I can't lay up with no motherfucking dog. I always get fleas. I always get fleas. This is the divine counterpart or the awakened person, just the person who's uh, not out there trying to hurt people has been laying up with a motherfucking dog. You know what I'm saying? They done with that shit. Like, I'm, if another bitch call me on my phone talking about she fucking you, you know what I mean? This this type shit. This this feel like bullshit. Joni Mitchell never lied. So maybe, look, I'm picking up that somebody finds some proof about somebody. I, didn't y'all get this before, Aries? I'm pretty sure y'all have. This sounds familiar. Somebody gets some proof and shit about somebody fucking around. Joni Mitchell never lied with the thief card. It's almost like you catch somebody in the act, Aries is what I'm picking up on. And they got to go. Motherfucker, you got to go. No, my brother, you got to get your own. You got to get the fuck up on out of here and give me the key back. It's kind of fucked up. I feel like uh, whoever is being told to leave or is leaving this situation, like this is a family that's breaking up. Gift. You know what I mean? It's kind of a sad situation. Five of Pentacles with the gift card. Somebody is devastated, I feel here. So Somebody is picking themselves like, okay, I can do it and pick myself up and figure out what I'm going to do. But they are fucking devastated, Aries. You or them. Like, I can't believe this shit. Somebody got caught doing some shit or will in November. And whoever finds out is like this. Like, I can't commit. I can't take a knee because I'm wearing all white. I'm awakened and shit. I done changed my life over. I can't commit to no shit like this. I can't commit to no shit like this. I be setting myself back to keep fucking with somebody like this that keeps doing me like this. Walking out if I'm pregnant. Got bitches calling my phone or I'm finding messages. Shit like that. Like, ding. What are you going to pick? A thought pocket. Like, you always picking thought pockets and shit. I can't fuck with this shit. Says somebody. You were them, Aries. Somebody's done, G done i feel like people been telling you or telling them like yeah i saw uh rodney and shit down the street with uh tanika and them that type shit i feel like you hearing shit aries or you will or a cross watcher or you're finding out shit online like i'm saying like something's being exposed and it's devastating is what i keep hearing where you have no choice but to move on you know what i mean like can't change the stripes on the tiger but it's almost like uh i feel like this is you being like, well, I gotta do what I gotta do. You turn into Ralph Tresvent. Shit, for yourself, for your kids, for your shit, sanity. It's almost like I, I have to leave. Like, whatever this is, Aries, that comes out or cross watcher, there is no mistake. It's like coming home and you seeing your spouse fucking somebody in your bed. It's almost like that type of feeling. I'm not saying that's what's happening here because I didn't really pick that up, but I'm saying it's that type of devastation where you're like, how can I possibly commit to that shit? Like, how? I can't even sleep in our bed no more. It's devastating is what I'm picking up, Aries. I don't know. Definitely has something to do with a third party and somebody being a fucking dog, though, for sure. So maybe somebody does find somebody in their bed. I feel like somebody gets caught in the act, but I feel like it's messages or talking or somebody sends another spouse a message about some shit, something like that, where it's not, you can't dispute it, Aries, where you, it's almost like a, it feels like a, everybody knows it's out, Aries, right? And it's almost like um, if I stay with this person, the whole fucking city knows that this person has been a fucking dog. And then they're going to be looking at me like I'm crazy. Right. I wouldn't really worry about what people say. I will worry about myself, Aries. And yes, you'll be looking at yourself like you crazy. Yes, the town will, too. Yes. Yes, they will. But if fuck them shit, how you going to be looking at yourself if you keep laying up with a motherfucker like that, that you keep catching and shit? Nah, G. Nah. This motherfucker reckless, whoever this is. Like I said, it could be a uh, Leo, Taurus, Libra, um, Aries, such as yourself, uh, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is what I'm seeing out here. Yeah, man. I feel like uh, this has happened before, Aries. This is not a first time offender and shit is what I'm picking up on. And enough scuzz, enough scuzz. Enoughska's Enoughska. Aries is what I'm picking up on. Damn, G. Let's see how this person feels about you. I mean, fuck. It's pretty much abundant and clear that this person has no fucking respect at all. How does this person feel about Aries? This maniac eyes, right? This maniac eyes. I don't like this card because it says happy, right? And it does look good on the outside. But when you look up in his eyes and shit, that motherfucker look like he got issues to me. Some deep up in his eyes. How they feel about you, you could snap on their ass. That's how they feel about you. That you could snap on their ass. It's getting to the point where they're pushing you to this point. I'm hearing Janae Iko. What is that? Have you ever? 
have you ever is it fucked with a maniac i'm hearing maniac really that's how they feel about you so you could possibly flip out on this motherfucker i mean you do have brass knuckles with spikes on them <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i mean yeah yeah that person feels like you are a very nice cool person but you got a side that a fucking I mean, shit, look, what's at the bottom of the deck? Yes, that's the other side of, of Aries. Like, yeah, they come off like this, but them fucking eyes, man. I'm telling you, my sister is in Aries. I don't watch her do some old crazy shit, and she one of the nicest people. But I never get on that bitch's bad side. Yeah, puzzled. That's how they feel about you. So this person walks on eggshells around you, Aries, or you then figure out where you go. This somebody scared you gonna snap on their ass. You got every right to. You got every right to. So this is somebody who's scared to approach you or um, uh, tries to figure out ways to fix things so you don't hurt them. It's literally what I'm getting, G. Maybe I'm picking up on my sister energy. I don't know. Can't be all just her hurting people when they piss her off. It can't be. But I'm just saying I know she is one of the nicest people. But like I said, I don't want to get on her bad side because she does have that maniac in her eye. And a lot of Aries that I know are very, very nice people till you piss them the fuck off. It's like a whole new motherfucker. They was just smiling and shit. And then they just, you know what I mean? Like you just flip, G. That's, this person knows that. So, I mean, and especially after you, it's almost, oh, okay. They're telling me for if you do find something, Aries, that's why this person knows that there's maniac in there. So it's almost like this person getting caught in the act or whatever you find out, Aries or cross watcher about this person. This person knows that it can go like this to this real motherfucking quick. Like you have proof. You have car facts, G. Damn. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I told you these motherfuckers married or live together, G. This person is trying to figure out how to get back inside, though. After they done already either went to a Tatiana or you kicked them out, Aries, whichever one, however this goes, or they chose to leave, however that went, and you were like, fuck it, I'm going to do this on my own, I can do it. This person now, it feels like they can come back. But they just don't know how. And they don't want your ass to, you know how motherfuckers start laughing and shit, but it's not really a laugh, it's like a scary laugh. That's what this card gives me. I don't like this man's laugh. It's like uh, laughing and locking the door at the same time. Like, you think you're going to leave, huh? <laughs> like, that type of shit. I don't know. This person is a little frightened of you, Aries. Or you then. King of Swords told you. So this person does want to talk about this shit. But I feel like they don't really know how to explain a Tatiana and leaving you if you were pregnant or, you know what I mean, cheating or getting caught in that. They, they don't. The town, the city, your friends, family talking about the shit, shit online. They don't really know how to explain that shit. But they do want to talk about it. Could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But they know you want to talk about it, too. But they're scared that that talk may lead to something else. Damn. I'm sure all of you Aries are not violent, of course. But this person is scared to get a... Uh, talking to this is how they feel like when you talk Aries and you are in that mode where you go from nice to just like Arr! you know what I mean like that conversation could switch real quick it goes from zero to a hundred real quick ten of pentacles king of swords how this person feels about Aries yeah marriage I told you you motherfuckers was together or married committed got some kids something this is a committed relationship here right here with these two people I felt it this person wants to come back and, and, and get back with you, Aries. But it feels uh, toxic, G. I don't like this man, G, with the maniac eyes. We just talking about the person, not you, Aries, or whoever this resonates with. It's almost like a, you can tell it's toxic just by the minute. It's like it, you guys try to make it work, get back together. And then after however long, it's just like, what the fuck happened? It just goes to shit is what I'm picking up how this person feels about you, but they still want to be in this situation with you. Even though they didn't got Tatiana, got caught, all this shit, Aries, they still want you. They do. They scared of you, but they want you. The fuck? Okay. Kanye West. I just heard Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Even though that's Drake. But we know Kanye is married to Kim Kardashian. But we all know that Drake made that song about Kim Kardashian because everybody calls her Kiki. That's what I'm saying. It's drama. That's what I'm saying. Like you hearing shit from other people. This is so basically this is like you, Aries, hearing a song on the radio about your spouse that somebody else wrote. <laughs> basically, you're like, what the fuck? I only call him Kiki, right? I only call her Kiki. What the fuck is going on? This person knows that, you know, whatever happened between this person and this third party, Aries, it came out. 
and now they want to apologize. Key, key, do you love me? Are you riding? Yeah, they gonna try to fix this with you again, Aries. Real shit. After you put their ass out or they put you out or you went on your own and decided you was gonna boss the fuck up with the tiger and shit, this motherfucker coming back, Aries. I feel like they, you are, you kept the house or you're the stable person here. Could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo though, who is a stable person here. But uh, whoever the stable person is in this relationship, the unstable person who was cheating, lying, Neanderthal face is coming back, G. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Damn. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, all right. Yeah. It's going to be some smoke in the city, buddies. <laughs> That's what that means. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's about to be... Hot, a like fire. Look, Aries, and I don't necessarily mean that in a good way, <laughs> to be honest. I don't feel it good. I feel like, uh, I feel like you're going to have to, I don't know. I ain't got the advice yet, but I feel like, be, I feel like you people have kids, live together, common shit, assets, and all that shit. So that's, I feel like you are puzzled as well, Aries. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I done tried to make it work. They turning me into a fucking lunatic. Like, I will kill this motherfucker none if I let them back in the house and shit. I can't listen to Kanye spew that bullshit in my ear and shit. Talking about we gonna take Tesla to the moon. I can't do it. I know we got baby North, baby Chicago, baby Saint, and all these little motherfucking babies, but I can't, I cannot, I cannot none. I mean, I hurt that motherfucker is how I feel from you, Aries, is what I'm feeling with this person. This person knows that. They've hurt you deep to, I've been there, Aries, where you like literally like, you have to leave because I'll fucking hurt you and I'll be in prison for the rest of my fucking life. That's the feeling I have, Aries, from this person feels towards you. It's almost like a, I've hurt Aries so bad, like, I don't know, man. I could end up on the first 48, gee. I really could if I go home, but I want to go home. This person wants to come home to you. They scared as fuck, Aries. Fright night. It's fright night at your house, Aries. Damn. Or cross Uh, Advice for Aries in this situation. Straight up fright night, G. Wow. Boat. So this is my slow and steady wins the race car. Also, this you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is a... Uh, that's why I know y'all got assets and kids and all kind of other shit tied up in here. So you can't just really get rid of this person like that, Aries. It's a slow process. This takes some time is what this is. So this is saying, don't rush out of this or push a motherfucker off as far as, I ain't saying letting this motherfucker move back in and shit, but it's almost like, if you really gonna be done with this person, then do the due process. Like I'm filing for divorce. I'm doing this. I moved you. It's like a slow and steady wins the race. So it's like, I guess what it's saying is like, and when people do shit impulsively, like I just threw all this clothes out. I trashed his car, all that shit. More than likely you motherfuckers getting back together. Cause you was impulsive with the damn microwave card but some shit that slow cook in the oven and shit no nah, motherfucker you sure because you're gonna wait for it you know what i'm saying like no nah, i'm gonna get it all tender and shit it's cooking low it's simmering so no nah, i'm filing for divorce you know what i mean i'm looking for a new place if it got me a lawyer this is all this bullshit it's basically prepare yourself and i'm using that as an example with the whole lawyer and divorce and all that however it is but what it's saying is don't be impulsive in this situation. Don't be impulsive taking this person back. Don't be impulsive pushing this person out if y'all got kids and shit. It's like, I feel like there's other things uh, tied into this where you can't be impulsive. With marriages and ten of pentacles and shit, it feels like this other shit involved. So it's almost like if you got this immature motherfucker here, then you got to be the mature one. Aries, basically. You control the checkbook, the the bills, everything. So you got to stay in this mode even though you want to stab the shit out of this motherfucker. Basically, stay calm. The waters are calm. Stay calm, Aries. Damn, what was that? Lovers, but it flew out on the floor. I'm going to put it back. Yeah, stay calm in regards to you love this person. This is like a soulmate or whatever the fuck. They just fucked up. Six of Cups was under that shit. So, yeah, it's going to be hard leaving this motherfucker. It is. But you have to stay calm. This is somebody you lay down with, had kids with, married, possibly all that shit. So there is some level of uh, responsibility you have as far as letting the motherfucker live. Shit, I mean, damn. Yeah, four of cups with the ten of cups. Slow and steady wins the race. You don't want this shit no more. So this is saying you need to reject this shit, which is what I feel you're doing. The three of cups was out here. But it's like do it the right way. It's like I'm feeling impulsive. You know what I mean? Like, uh, 
like you could possibly be impulsive. Like, no, I'm going to drive to his house and I'm going to check the bitch and I'm going to check the dude and I'm going to go, nah, don't do all that. Like, it's like literally just file for the divorce, move, put they, you know, pack up they shit, take it to their mama house. Like adult shit. Slow and steady wins the race. Nothing like too impulsive. It's like, I'm not going to play this game with you. I don't want that fake ass love. That's also your advice. Cause remember I told you this person's coming back. You don't want that fake ass love. I've been down so long. It looked like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake friends. Or is it fake people? Showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face. Boom. ba da doom. You recognize that shit. You slowly gonna get out of that shit. You don't want this shit no more. You figured out how to do it yourself. If you do have children, which I keep seeing children. You got ten of pentacles and ten of cups. You have kids with this person or this person. Um, you're dealing with Aries does or cross watch or whatever the fuck. So somebody can't just leave impulsively like that. They can't, but they don't want this fucking relationship no more. They done with this shit. And I feel like they are going to reject or you should reject this person's proposal of coming back is what this is saying. And normally I'll tell you motherfuckers do what the fuck you want. You know what I mean? But it looked like you feel this way already. So yeah, yeah. With the message of concern. Yeah. I bet the fuck it was. There's some car facts or some proof and receipts that have come out here, Aries. That period. So there's, that's why I said you could not even get back with this person if you wanted to just because, number one, I feel like something has come out to multiple people to where you would be like, I am not about to be walking around here looking like no motherfucking fool with this motherfucker on my arm and shit and everybody know that you've been filling the blank. I feel like that was the last straw. It's actually, which lets me know that this person has done this a few times, but maybe this is the one that took the cake. I don't know if they fucked with a family member, a friend, or whatever the fuck, Aries, but something is going down. In Aries town, G, it is. And I feel like that was just enough for you. Message of concern. to For you to reject that shit and huh, shit. Make your, make your exit, right? Exit stage left. But you walking out. This is what this is. Walking out gracefully. Bowing out gracefully. This ain't no motorboat and, you know what I mean, jet skis where it's just all crazy. It's exiting gracefully. I ain't about to make a scene and chase you and cuss bitches out or none of that shit. What I found out was just enough. Message of concern. Goodbye, like AOL. Goodbye. Dolly Parton, working nine to five. This your advice. Yeah, which I said you were going to do. Like I said, when people don't do shit right, you do it yourself or pulling yourself up by the bootstraps with this queen of pentacles and this page of swords. I feel like you got people in your corner, Aries, also that are willing to help you. You know what I mean? Like, uh, but I feel like these people want to see you. It's almost like, uh, have you ever seen like a, like say there's a woman in an abusive situation and everybody's telling her to get out and then finally she does get out and then the community rallies around her. Her family does like, it's not as bad as she thought it was going to be if she left this person. You know what I mean? With the moon despair and the will of fortune it's not, it's all in her mind. Or maybe he, this person made you think that you couldn't do better or some shit like that. But I feel like your advice is telling you to ex, uh, exit gracefully. Right. And shit, it's going to all work out. That's why it happened. Message of concern. So you can just do you G do you who needs this extra stress. If you are uh, in a relationship committed, got kids and all this shit and you working and you got a deadbeat ass spouse, and shit that don't do shit. Why the fuck would you need all this extra stress on top of you pulling this deadbeat ass spouse's weight? Oh, you know what I mean? It's almost like a guy was like, no, no, no. He just came up in there like, I'm going to have to like put something out there to where it's like, not you can't even dispute that this motherfucker a dog. You know what I mean? To where you'll leave. You have to. Aries, I feel like this happened for a reason. Like this came out because there is no way you can stay with this person or a cross watcher. Like it, you have to leave. And work on yourself, Dolly Parton. You have to. It was long overdue. But still exit gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Don't make no scene is what I'm picking up on. That's your advice for November. This shit crazy as fuck. So I guess it's saying don't make a scene because this person does expect you to go little Kiki Loco on they ass. They do. So I guess that's what it's saying too. Keep calm. You know what I mean? Keep your wits about you. So go drink some water. Splash some water on your motherfucking face. It's safe fresh water on the boat. Go drink some shit if you feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, you need to calm down, but I know why you are so mad because I've been there and not even to this point. I ain't got kids and no husband and shit, so I can only imagine if shit coming out about my spouse and I got kids and I lay up with this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Aries. Oh, yeah. I, I be feeling like this here, too. You said this here, I'll juke joint. You said this here, I'll juke joint. Like now you switching the fuck up and doing all this shit. I feel like, uh, oh, yeah, Aries. Keep calm, man. Go splash some water on your face, man. That's what I got to do after this fucking reading with y'all. But uh, 
it looks like you are about to have a lot of support, Aries, and, and just take care of your cubs, your business, or whatever. You're going to get stronger from this shit. This is also a, my getting stronger card. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a, you are the apex predator of the jungle. You will feed your cubs. You will hunt. You will kill. You will stalk. You will, and I don't mean stalk in a bad way, but I mean stalk your prey. Like, you're going to get it done is what I'm saying. Nobody is coming to fuck with you. I feel like you kicked into that mode. Message of concern. That's what's up, Aries. All right, Aries, shit. That's been your reading for November, G. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Aries. Give no fit knocks. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Info for private readings will be below the video. I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.